Hey, hey. What up, what up? Um, yeah. My hair is, like, black now with a purple tint. Uh, yeah, it's a big change, and I like it. I look like an emo fuck right now. My eyeshadow is really dark and shit, but I wanted to just do something because I looked pretty ratchet and I didn't want to record. Looking ugly, even though I do anyway. But, yeah. I dyed my hair bright purple, and it turned out blue, and then faded to purple and blue. And I'll, like, insert pictures and stuff. Dog is creeping me right now. Hey, Taylor. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Tail. But, um... Somebody requested like a while ago, and I just never got around to doing it. Um, a video about oh my gosh, my eye switching. Um, about uh, stretching your ears and shit. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, so basically, they just wanted like a whole beginner's thing. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Of uh, stretching your ears. So basically, I had my ears stretched a couple months ago. I got up to a half inch, and I had to take them out. But, um, I ended up stretching up back up again, and whatever, and then I closed them. And right now, they just look like little vagina hair, ears or whatever. I don't even care. So, I'm sorry if my dog is annoying. But, um, basically, what you want to do, if you want to start stretching your ears, obviously, you're going to need to have your ears pierced. Um, I would not recommend doing it yourself, because piercing yourself are never a good idea, trust me. So, yeah. So, um... Yeah, basically, standard ear piercing size or earring or whatever is normally like an 18 or a 20 gauge. So you're going to need probably to start off at a 16 or a 14, depending on uh, your ears. So you would get like little baby taper. You're going to need to start off with something like this. This is like a little baby taper. I think this is like a 10 gauge, but you can get a pack of Spencer's for like, I don't know, they'll have like, I think, 16s, 14s, 10s, whatever. And then it just goes, it will, the whole size scale goes from like 20, 18, uh, 16, 14, 12, 10, uh, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, double zero, 7, 16, half inch, etc. Um, you're going to want to start with the little baby tapers. They look like this. This is tapers. They are pointed at the ends and they go into a, um, I, don't know, I guess like a bigger rounded tip. But you're just going to use that, and when you're stretching up with tapers, um, which I would only, like, recommend to do from, like, the starting point up until, like, about a zero. I wouldn't use them after that. I would, I'll talk about that later. But, um, what I do when I would use tapers, I either use, like, Vaseline or, um, lotion with, like, vitamin E oil, which is really good for your ears and stuff, um, to like lube it up and then just really slowly put it in your ear. I think I have a clip of me doing it, so I'll insert it if I can. Yeah, you you do need something most of the time to put some sort of lube on it because it never likes to cooperate, just like my hair right now. So um, yeah, that's that. And then most tapers, if you go to like Hot Topic or Spencer's or anything. Um, I would tell you to, like, go to Spencer's or a piercing place to get steel tapers like this. Like, the little baby one, it's a steel taper. The reason you don't want to use something like this, that's, like, acrylic and all pretty looking, is because, um, when you stretch up your ears, it's basically the equivalence to having a fresh piercing. And, like, let's say with my Monroe, I have, like, a metal jewelry in it. Yeah. And you wouldn't put, like, an acrylic or plastic you know, like, um, post in it as it's healing, because it's just not a good thing. You need to treat it as if it's a fresh piercing, because it basically is. So, you're going to want to get the, uh, steel tapers if you can find them. If not, it's not really a big deal, but steel tapers over these. Um, so yeah, these are tapers. They look like this, and they get really big and scary and stuff. This is a half-inch one. I, I really don't think you should use them after double zero. If you don't want to stretch with tapers when you get to bigger sizes like around zero um you can just do the taping method which you can use electrical tape which sometimes doesn't work for people it works for me or you can um i don't know i forgot the other tape you can use just google the tapes of what you can use basically what you do is you take a plug like this this has ear glue on it it's really fucking gross but a plug like this and you just wrap the tape around a couple times put it in your ear and just keep doing that like 
I don't know, like once a week, whenever your ear is ready, depending on your body. And eventually you could just fit in bigger um, sizes. So you can do that, which is like the safest way to do it and the correct way when you're not using tapers. Or you can be an idiot like me and you can use silicone, which looks like this. This is a uh, silicone tunnels in double zero size and they're all like squishy and fun to play with and stuff. Um, I'm not telling you to do this, but I know a lot of people that do and I did it and it works for me, but I guess I just got really lucky. So I'm just saying, I'm not saying you should do this because you really shouldn't, but you can, even though you shouldn't, um, use these to stretch up too. You just kind of like smush them up like this and you just hold down your ear and put it in and it like will expand, but that can be really bad because it can cause uneven stretching and blowouts and whatever. Um, also, if you are at smaller sizes, it doesn't really matter that much, but if you can get plugs for even smaller sizes or any sizes, you should not keep your tapers in because um, it can cause uneven weight distribution, just that kind of thing. So you always want to put plugs in. Um, I like plugs like this where you can like, you can um, unscrew the back and then like just slide them in. They're like really easy to do. Um, when you get to around like a double zero, it's a lot easier to use double flared plugs, which look like uh, this. They don't have like any O-rings, which are the um, the rubber bands or whatever, these thingies. Um, and you just like hold down your ear. I'll show you how to put them in, even though my ears aren't stretched anymore, but I'll show you. You would hold down your ear like this and just take it at like an angle like that and just push it in and it'll go through. Ow. I just got my hair caught on my ring. Um... So that's basically it for up until you get about for me anyway when I got to my half inch my ears didn't like smell or anything really gross so if they do just in the shower use um just uh antibacterial hand soap like dial or whatever and just wash out your plugs and just cover it in soap and rinse them off or um and, and do the same thing to your ears because it's you have to clean your ears anyway because like I said it's like a fresh piercing so you want to do that and all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Just stretch slowly and safely. Don't blow out your ears. Silicone stretching up is not a good thing, even though I did it. And clean your plugs and your ears to keep them healthy and not smelling like running flesh. And don't stretch too fast. Um, you want to take your time with it because if you're going to stretch your ears, it should be something that you want to have for a really long time or basically your entire life because if you stretch up to a certain point your ears can't close again you have the giant vagina ears which thankfully I don't because I didn't get that far but if you have like super giant vagina ears you're gonna have to deal with it for the rest of your life unless you want to pay like a lot of money for surgery so yeah it's something that you really need to think about so if you want this to be something in your life and you like body modifications or whatever Definitely think about it and take your time because it's no rush in anything and you don't want to fuck up your ears and all that um, not fun stuff. So yeah, I basically think I talked about everything as much as I can in a really short period of time because I don't want this too long. So yeah, so um, I hope this helped. Whoever requested this, I don't know your username off the top of my head, sorry, but and sorry it took me so long, but um, yeah. So I will see you all later. Bye.